All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday at TS, TSRS. <laughs> Sorry, I get confused all the time. We're here at Speed Sports. We're here with uh, the gang, the Texas boy. We got the Asian sensation, Kelvin, back on the channel, of course. We got uh, Chuck. Chuck's not, he's camera shy. Uh, Bryce, super camera shy. And then we have Mikey, Brian, not camera shy. And uh, we have another, who's coming here? I don't know what his name is. He's a New guy. New guy. New guy coming here. I don't know him yet. Never met him. Shifter cat. Trying to rate, mix up the 206. Um, goal for me, like I said yesterday, top five. Goal for Rooster Kids, top three. No pressure. Uh, I'm, I'm about to get ready. I did a couple of changes. Uh, just clean up the clutch. I was slipping yesterday. And then um, I'm going to try some seat struts, which I never do. And it's the, the way they told me is the seat struts for this chassis will free it up. We'll see. So for Sunday warm up, uh, all we did was add seat struts, uh, see what that would do to the chassis, and uh, hopefully get me to free up the cart and uh, able to turn in better. Um, my goal was to just sit right behind the 575. I try to learn some things about the track. I uh, try to figure out his gearing. That's one way I, I figure out gearing from other people is I just ride behind them and see uh, if I'm close on gearing to them, if we're, we're like really close. Um, there are some wet patches at the track still. Uh, I don't think it really rained last night. It's just damp from doing everything. But then someone spins out in front of him. He takes evasive actions, and there goes my plan to follow him around. So. My next thing was, Joker, right? just uh, get some clear track, uh, hit your marks, and uh, you know see how the cart feels and see if we have to make any changes before qualifying. Cart didn't feel bad at all. Um, I didn't feel particularly very fast, but since I was able to you know, run down the people in front of me, um, it made me feel better about it. Um, at still at the double right, I was not very happy with the cart. Um, I am turning the wheel to the right, just the cart's pushing through. So the rear is still driving the front, and I'm hoping that the new tires will give me enough front grip um, to counteract the rear grip. But at the same time, I'll be adding front grip, adding rear grip. I'm just hoping it's just enough to get the cart to turn around and go. Um, I am getting that kind of springy effect off the corner. So in this tight section, the cart works really well. And then through this double right, the cart's just, you know, just flying through it. Um, I was really good at this hairpin left all weekend. Uh, I could get the cart uh, turned in uh, well on the left-handers and then just, you know, just drive out of it uh, pretty well. Um, so overall, uh, morning warm-up went well. It, I couldn't ask for anything else better. Uh, it was really a good session so far. No issues mechanically at all. Thank you to Chuck. Uh, just really had a really good morning warm-up excited for qualifying let's see how it goes okay. all right guys first warm-up practice in the books um p1 i don't know how it's crazy um put on some seat struts cart felt better i'm just not driving it any better at all so <laughs> we're getting the cart better just the driver's not getting better and the clutch has been slipping so i'm changing clutches um Mikey did well in, at the end of P7 this morning, morning warm up. Calvin was P2 but threw a chain. And good old Bryce. When Chuck does a gear change, you gotta check Bryce's car. I asked uh, I, I asked Chuck, hey let's drop the uh drop one two. And uh I'm guessing he was gonna end up drop going up on the rear and drop and up on the driver to split the difference. So he went up on the rear, never up on the driver. So he was about four teeth off and still ran. It would have put him like 10, but it's transparent and pickup. So he's got to start last and qualifying. So we'll get there. And then Kelvin hammering his wheels on. That kid needs help. Now on to qualifying. This is by far the best the cart has felt all weekend. 
the cart was able to turn. I was able to put it where I wanted to. Um, I did not have any of that sliding. I didn't have any of that pushing. The cart just went. As you can see there in that double right, it's the first time all dang weekend I'm able to put the cart where I wanted to put it. Uh, this is not my fastest lap. The lap before running him down was quicker. And actually here, I pushed him through a quicker lap. Um, I really screwed up. I should have backed off, off of him and then ran back up on him again. Um, I do do that on my last push lap, but I drop a tire and I screw up my qualifying. But super happy with the end up in the end anyway. Super happy with how the cart fell. I ate, everything was just, you know, great. Like right here, that, that left-hander turn is basically one of my best turns at this track. Um, the technical section, I, I did really well. And in this last corner, I never got down. Uh, cart just never really released hard off this right-hander. But overall, P2 qualifying session. I crossed the line P3. Uh, penalty handed out and moved up to P2. Overall, happy. All right, here we go. And heat number one starting outside. Uh, they gave us a little spill about how to start. Um, really just anything everywhere else just take off when the takeoff box goes if he throws a green flag that means it's a good start if he doesn't like it he'll throw a yellow flag i uh, got out in the lead and um off the bat the cart felt pretty decent uh, i could get the cart push where i wanted to put it so i was ex i was feeling good i was feeling uh really good about the uh the cart um i felt about good about the gearing and then i expected uh, the front two of us, uh, Noah, qualified on pole uh, for us just to push away and walk away um, and then just have a two-horse two race towards the end. Uh, usually anywhere else, that's what would happen. There would be literally no fighting up front. Um, if the front two just hook up and go, it wouldn't be that big of an issue. Um, coming through here, uh, even though the cart felt really good, he was able to get a better run through these double rights. Um, as the rate as the run went on, the uh, the cart developed a slight push, um, and he was able to get a better run down the straightaway. But instead of pushing, he sticks his nose down below. Um, I hold it on the outside. The first time I was basically giving him a warning, saying, "Hey, I'm not going to give up the position. Let's not battle. Let's uh, let's just work together." And I thought he would get the hint. Um, I felt, I actually thought it was kind of rare to, for someone to make a move that early in the race. So I was like, okay, um, we're only on lap three, but if you want to shove your nose down there, that's fine. I'm just going to hold on the outside. Uh, so we, we do that. Uh, I do the best I can to get through a run out of here. Uh, I actually get a better run through this last hairpin. I pull a slight gap, but then when I get back to these double rights, I can't get the cart turned again. So. It was really just these double rights the cart would just push. Um, I would have to let off a lot more to get the cart to turn and rotate. But other than that, I would take the right hand, I'd have my steering wheel full cocked right, and the cart would just, just drive on out. So you got a really good run. This time, I did not fight it. I did not fathom why I would fight this time or why he would make the move again. But it really just made me sit back, relax, uh, look after my tires, find out where I'm better at this is a position that I usually sit in anyway I usually sit in second uh, push most of the race unless I think I'm fast enough to walk away uh, but other than that you know sit back relax uh, enjoy the view and see where I'm better at and see where I can make my move later on in the race so um, for future reference sometimes if if unless the guy is like half a second faster than you uh, due to the nature of this track and the draft you're not gonna get away you're just not going to do it unless you just have a card that's just on point. Um, I was just seeing where I could make a move and where I was quicker. And really, through this left-hander, I could get a really good exit. So I was planning to set up a move on the exit of this left-hander. I haven't seen anybody do it all weekend. I've seen people go into a left-hander, but then that just kills exit speed and bunches everybody back up. So I just want to make a move where I think I could just get a good drive and drive out um you know smoothly and not lose too much momentum so now we're down to two laps to go and i'm debating i sh probably should have made the move the final lap looking back at it but i'm debating if i make the move now uh, i get a much better run here uh through the double rights 
I had to lift a lot to get the cart to turn. But then the draft, you can see how much the draft is here. It's, it's ridiculous. It's long back straight away. And then the tight section, uh, the cart worked really well. I could get the cart rotated. And then here, I'm much quicker um, through the tight section than do the double right. And this back half, the cart was just working really well. So this left-hander, I already had set up. Um, coming up, I'm going to make the drive out of it. I thought to myself, let me do it now and then see if I can pull a gap. Um, got a really good drive on the way out, kept it smoothed, sucked up onto his back bumper, and then shoved it on the inside. Uh, made the move on the inside and then pulled uh, not a decent gap, but I had a, a, a decent gap. Now, this is with a part. In the 206, you don't have horsepower. So he shoves the nose on the inside. I gave him plenty of space. Um, and then he washes out. I had a decent gap uh, back. The thing is, I didn't look back. And looking back at it now, when I saw on car chase, I had a decent gap. So really no reason to protect or block or anything. So uh, I did one little glance over my back shoulder, saw that I, had, I could take my regular racing line. Uh, and then from here, I know I was a lot stronger. Sitting behind him, I knew I was stronger in this tighter section uh, of the track. So... I really wasn't worried about him gaining back on me anywhere in this area. I did do one slight mistake. Um, so I thought he might have gained. And this is the only reason I decided to cover off and pinch off the exit. Uh, really, I had pulled him in a bigger gap and didn't have to protect at all. So lesson learned. Next time, do a quick glance and check over your shoulder. Make sure you have a good gap. I did. I did not check. So I decided to defend. Um, and then he ends up getting a good uh, over under move on me. I gave him plenty of space on the inside and he drag races me to a line. P2, super happy with the results, super happy with how the card's going. Um All right, guys, welcome back. Heat one in the book. P2, P1, P2, P10, but went purple. So. Yeah, it's uh, huh? What can I say? It's hard racing in the back. So, had a good battle with me and the guy in uh, in second. We battled it out. He didn't want to follow, so I was just gonna say push because there's no reason to fight. I always tell people don't fight, but nobody ever listens. So, uh, the top two checked out because they stayed nose to tail, and then uh, we battled it out at the end. I made a move, just testing the waters. I think I know where to make the move now for the heat too. And then just working on a little bit of chassis tweaks. Um, I can't get to the double rights going so straight away. The car doesn't want to turn. So I'm trying to figure that out and then we'll go from there. So the chassis adjustment I did was widen the front end and then narrow the rear and shorten the chassis. And this was a mistake. Uh, the car just got stuck. Um, the amount of grip that was laid down on the track was not good at all. Uh, Noah gets a really good start here, and then I'm going thinking to myself, do I sit behind him or do I make the move and see if he'll follow me this time around? Um, for the first lap, I'm going to sit back and see if I'm able to still be quick enough just to hang out in the back and, and, and run, run behind him, which I was just fine sitting back here all race if I needed to. But... Um, I felt that I was a little bit stronger than him in some of the areas and hopefully if the car just worked a little bit better for me I might have a chance to break the draft myself. So since I'm much quicker in the tight section um, I'm definitely gonna try to get around him and hopefully he, he this time this time decides to push instead of battle it out um, It doesn't work out the way I expected I do get around him coming up here i what i've been doing now is to get the cart to rotate and turn around um this setup change gave me a lot more front grip but bogged me on exit bad so i would just lift going to his uh left hander and then i would lift and lift and lift and you can see there i'm trying to lift and turn the cart and the cart just says no i'm not turning so i still get a good run out go down the straightaway uh take the position and then from there on, I'm just going to try to pull away. I do get a slight gap, uh, but the double right, my weakness, it still happens again. So every single time I pull a big gap, they're able to run me back down straight away because I'm lifting so much to get the cart turned turn for me. Uh, down here again, he decides to battle it out. 
um, I decide I'm not going to give him the position. I'm going to hold it on the outside. Uh, here in TSRS, you're supposed to give space on the outside, which I don't agree with the rule. But since the rule's there, I'm going to use it to my advantage and hold it on the outside. After that, uh, he did not mount another attack due to a part failure on his end, which I'm happy because I was not going to sit there and battle all race. But with the white flag going, is the final lap. Uh, the cart is just locked down tight i am running 105 flats pushing as hard as i could and ross is coming like a bat out of hell he is clearly four tenths half a second faster lap than me so um i had the, some work to do some homework to do to free up this chassis because this was my biggest fear is when the rubber gets down how much would this chassis bind up and it bind up bad so i had some ideas in mind to free it up but at the moment, the changes I did did not work for me. Uh, doesn't mean it doesn't work for everybody. It does not work for me. Like I said, uh, I'm a big guy. It, changes don't always work the way we think it does, especially for someone my size. So, uh, got a good run here. Super happy. I got a massive gap. I had a three second gap at the end, uh, at the beginning of the race. It turned out to be a couple tenths. Uh, due to the fact that I blocked, I had enough gap that I didn't need a block. But, you know, better safe than sorry. P1, super happy with the end of the day. We're sitting pretty for the hey, finals. Hey, man. Right, Boom! Guys, I'm Dude, wait, I, are you literally? <laughs> oh, damn. I literally say I'm going to do a closing video on this. And Kevin's like, I'm just going to pull this away and, and blah, blah, blah. There you go, Kevin. That's mine, by the way. I know. Don't drink mine. God. I mean, it's mine, but no, it's no, it's mine. All right, guys. As you see, the end of day one. Um, excellent day today. We started off. Oh my God, we started off rough uh, for practice in the morning. Uh, Kevin did really well in the morning Kevin. warm up. Kelvin did really well in the morning. Kevin. It's so bad, man. It, this whole video is just bad. Mikey did well this morning. And then Chuck sent Bryce way off on gearing. So when we slide, they did it by lining up by qualifying. So you know how you gotta do it. You for CKNA rules, they do it by that as well. So the big classes, they had to do it by that. So Bryce was in the back. He pulled off an awesome lap and put it on pole. Oh wait, no P2. He put it P2. Crazy. Forgot. Daisy Sensation threw it on pole. Don't know how, because. He, he didn't he didn't right. listen he didn't listen at all and then yeah exactly he gave a toe to somebody else and then mikey p6 five, five? five. so you start fifth okay so we all we all were top five yeah. then we were all top five i qualified third and got moved up to second so you guys know the end of my heat i ended up uh p1 um cart got extremely tight so when the rubber came in that bro said no more uh, we did a big chassis change on it now. We moved the seat forward a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey got a little tight. We fixed him. Bryce's hub slid in but got shuffled back. Uh, and then Kelvin won lap to lap by himself, drove off. It's crazy. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, this video. Tomorrow is final day. We don't know how the weather's going to be. We're all, we're all really like, you know, scratching our head if the rain's coming or not if the warm-up goes well i hope it doesn't rain if the warm-up goes bad i hope it rains let's see how it goes thanks for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe and share